Tipping the scales at 10 to 30, we have an Eagle HT mid bunk here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, if you want to see if we got one in stock, there's a link in the video description. Give our team a call. We don't do dealer fees. Um, we got a lot to talk about on this one, and the weather's not cooperating. I'm actually, I'm, uh, I've got an umbrella out here in the snow, trying to keep the sticky snow off this camera lens because everything is sticking right now. Uh, normally, I would tell you how uh, this Eagle HT series, we like to outfit with larger 16 inch tires. Uh, it's one of the nice things about Eagle HTs is that they're not made just for half tons. Between the option for larger tires and the uh, adjustable height suspension, an Eagle HT can actually uh, be comfortably hooked up to a three quarter one ton truck unless you've done something really irregular or stupid to it, like you know some crazy 12 inch lift or something like that, and then you shouldn't be towing a fifth wheel anyway. But the point here is that at 10 to 30, especially with the hitch weight on this, this is really above and beyond the reasonable boundaries for what you would expect out of a quote half ton series fifth wheel. You really need a three quarter ton and up to tow this. I don't recommend half ton towing this at all. Uh, but it, unless they had the adjustable suspension and stuff, you wouldn't be half ton, you wouldn't be anything towing this. I mean, half tons couldn't handle it, and a three quarter ton wouldn't be able to fit under it. All that being said, this model comes with standard 16 inch tires but still has the adjustable axles. Um, stuff like that, that's the extra. So Eagle's really extra. They do everything extra. Um, you know, they, they've got different pin box arrangements. Here we've got the, the, the Revolution pin box optioned onto this one. And remember, this is different. This could be different from the one that you see in stock. So that is the, uh, you know, pivoting pin box that will uh, allow everything to uh, be short bed friendly. Now, not only do they have LED accent uh, nose lights, they also have these cool little accent beams on the nose. Another thing to talk about in anything Eagle is the uh, smart lighting. Yes, M-A-R-T lighting. Basically, they've added extra um, side marker and front rear uh, clearance lights that blink along with your turn signals so that other drivers on the road have a better, clearer understanding of what you're accomplishing. Now, weather like today, this is really one of the best opportunities to talk about the Climate Shield insulation package on an Eagle HT uh, because this is one of the very few fifth wheels in this segment that's actually tested, published, and proven to perform from 0 to 100 degrees. Um, that is something that Jayco does in all their Eagle series with that Climate Shield package. There's a lot of brands that have uh, all sorts of different advertising and marketing and they, they come up with liar liar pants on fire things like an R52 roof which does not exist in this business by the way. Eagle doesn't come up with false numbers. Instead, they actually just test their product and publish the testing. So there you go. You saw the motion sensitive pass through lighting. One of the nice, basically what this RV is, if you've seen the 27.5 rear living triple slide Eagle HT, then you've already seen this. All they did was take that floor plan and shove a middle bunkhouse between the uh, bathroom and the kitchen area. That's all this is. Now right here, let me see if I can juggle my umbrella and everything. We got this handy little pull out capital grill so uh, you can actually grill on this thing. Those things burn hotter than, uh, you you know, the, the, the feeling of downtown hell. Uh, over here, we've got our uh, hookups for like, you know, phones and chargers and extra little appliances you want to bring outside. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and close these up just so that we're not getting snow in. Now, recently, I, uh, I asked the product manager down at Eagle. I said, you know, you've got slam latches and these have magnets built onto them. Why aren't you using magnet catches? And I really respected his answer. Uh, the answer that I was expecting was, well, they cost more, but that's not the answer. The answer was, we're testing them because uh, I know that other manufacturers are using them, but we feel that on a windy day that those, uh, those things are closing too easily. And we don't like that at Jayco. We don't want to take a risk of that falling on your head or your kid's head. So we're going to test them until we can find something better. And we've got something on the horizon, but it needs to be tested more. That's what I like about this. Everything on this is tested and premeditated. There's nothing accidental here. But that's part of the reason why Jayco has twice the warranty of pretty much anybody else out there. I'm not talking uh, just structural warranty. I'm saying every Everything. I'm saying everything tip to tail. This has double the warranty of an industry standard trailer. That's what's nice. There's a lot of structural warranties out there and a lot of the products we carry here at Halet RV had three year structural warranties, but that is not a, a full coverage warranty like this is. So we've got power front leveling jacks, push button uh, power rear stabilizers optioned onto this one. There is a plumbing line run to the back of every Eagle HT so that if you do want to add a grill back here you can. Now remember we got that smart lighting so we've got extra clearance lights and whatnot but a cool thing on Eagle HTs and one of the reasons I wanted to walk all the way back here in this snowy conditions is uh, to talk about the rear hitch. This was the first and still one of the only 
uh, RVs on the market that has a factory installed towing hitch. Not just accessory receiver hitch, but actual towing hitch. Even has four-way plug on the back. It's got a 3,000 pound tow rating, 300 pound tongue limit. That is a best in class feature. Now the Winnebago Mini Plus fifth wheels have recently come out uh, with a very similar system, but they're they're not including the wiring on the back. But they did take the inspiration from Eagle on this. They flat out said, yeah, Eagle's got a good thing going there. You may find other options on our Eagle HTC here, like the Santacon right there. If you're not familiar with that, it's a uh, waste tank power exhaust and macerator so that you can empty your holding tanks twice as quickly. Kind of a handy thing. You know what, the weather's kind of garbage. We'll finish this up with the other details inside. Okay, much, much better. So, um, I'm going to try to take a little bit longer in here since I kind of cut a short outside. But one of the first things I want to talk about is something that uh, I don't really see done in many other places in uh, the industry, even within the Jayco lineup, and that is their dimmer switch lighting, which is something I just uh, finally learned all about, actually thanks to my friend John Derschel, who builds Jayco Eagles down at uh, the Jayco plant. He's another one of our big video fans, so it's even the guys who build these things think we're pretty uh, awesome here. So first of all, their light switch is actually, um, you know, just kind of, you know, sense touch sensitive. But if you touch and hold it, then the lights dim, which is kind of a cool thing. I, you know, I, I don't really see that done in a lot of other brands. I don't know that I've seen that pretty much anywhere, even within the rest of the Jayco family. So that's neat. Then little things like this. This was the first uh, fifth wheel, the first really RV in this segment to have whisper ducted air, the HT series. Now a few other, a lot of other brands have adopted that, but again, Eagle was on the forefront of that. So, uh, you know, the way you can remember it is with one of my goofy nerdisms that you can look up in a definitionary, and that is if you can see the square, you can hear the air. What that means is if you can see the air conditioner, it's a normal AC system, it's not inferior, it's just normal. This is superior in that it's quieter. So it's not that something is bad, it's just that there's normal, there's good, and then there's better. And everything in Eagle, like I said, Eagle's very extra, Eagle's very upgrade. Uh, that's that's who uh, Eagle is. So they've taken everything up a little bit of a notch. Like we've got all nicer hardwood slide fascia. Um, something that these share in common with our Cougar fifth wheels here is the little touchscreen remote right here where you can operate like your uh, patio lights, your awning, your, your stabilizers and whatnot, all from right here in this handy little touchpad, which is very handy if I want to open this door and make sure that I can close that slide without it crushing anything. Now, uh, something that Jayco does pretty much across the board, guys, is that they have plywood roof and floor decking. 5 8 plywood tongue and groove floor, 3 8 plywood tongue groove roof, and the Jayco Magnum Trust roof system is rated to hold more weight than anything else on the market, especially within this class. 4,800 pound roof rating. Now, some people might argue that it's overkill, but we've literally had a situation where we sold a J-Flight travel trailer uh, to a customer and a tree fell on it over the bunkhouse area and nothing happened to the kids. Uh, it, it was pretty remarkable. So. You say it's it's overbuilt until disaster day comes. Now remember there are different decors, there's different options, there's different things you can do in this. This is an example of 1HT. This is the peppercorn decor, which is that uh, slightly darkish brown with a little uh, rich accents on your, your uh, fabric tones and whatnot. <clears throat> There's different things you can do. This is a trifold sleeper sofa, hide a bed right there. You got your twin recliners in the back. And like I said, staring at everything we've looked at so far, this is just a 27.5 RLTS Eagle HT. There's nothing about this. That, well, that's what's cool about this. That's what's great about the middle bunk concept, guys. The bonus room, if you will, is that it gives you a, a beautiful living room that a bunkhouse traditionally will lack, but it gives it to you in something that actually has sleeping capacity. Now, um... Eagle does one of the best dining tables. Now, you see this dining table and setups like this used in these $80,000 and up luxury fifth wheels all the time. But here we've got it in a much, much smaller class, like four product segments down from where you normally see it. Because, again, Eagle does everything above and beyond. Uh, normally, in a floor plane like this, you'd see a freestanding table and four chairs. If you're lucky, you get an extension leaf. This has an extension leaf, and the table lifts up, and you get a pair of these hideaway guest chairs. So if a lot of people will use an RV like a mid-bunk, some people use it as just a couple's coach. And then when uh, they have guests or grandkids or they use the middle room as an office, sometimes they have people over and they want to be able to entertain. And that's what this floor plan is good for. This thing's a chameleon, ladies and gentlemen. It can just become anything. Now, little detail stuff like uh, our, we've got uh, really heavy, aggressive nightshades. If you really want to blot out that sun, you're very capable of doing so. 
all the windows open for ventilation, not just the side windows, the slide windows, and the recliner side windows. Everything in here is going to open for airflow, which is fantastic. Now, let's talk heating and cooling. Like I said, uh, Eagle has uh, um, the very best rated uh, hot cold testing data of anything I've ever seen in this segment. Now, there's other RVs that have good packages. What I'm saying is that Eagle's gone above and beyond, but they didn't have to come up with false R value numbers in a marketing book to do that. Um, one of the ways that they're able to accomplish this is with centralized floor ducted heating. This is the most efficient heating system possible. Now, maybe you don't care for that. Maybe you, you're not looking for uh, the, the best cold rated thing within this category out there. Maybe you'd rather have no ducts in the floor. That's fine. I've got other RVs that do that. Uh, like our Highland Ridge uh, fifth wheels, for instance. There's other f uh, models that we carry that, will, that won't have floor ducted heating. But this is the most efficient system, which is why they're able to uh, keep warmer temperatures in here. Also, you get a standard 15,000 air up here. So it's not only whisper quiet, but it's also a 15K standard. Um, over here in the entertainment area, the TV is included. Uh, we simply have already peeled this one out of here. And you may notice that swing arm. This TV can really swing out if you want to face the rear recliners and there's storage behind it. There's a uh, expansion, sort of entertainment expansion shelf and system right here. Or if you want to add like a Blu-ray or satellite system or something, you can do that. Now, uh, something I want to really point out on this Furion system here is that it has face-mounted HDMI and USB plug. What that's for is those streaming sticks like a, a Chromecast or an Amazon Fire Stick or whatever. Uh, you can plug that in there and the USB plug can power that so that you can have mobile entertainment. That's what's cool. The fireplace is an option. We like to apply that to our HTs because these things are so upgraded and, and ritzy that we wanted to make sure that that was applied through the family. Now over here in the kitchen, um, there's some brands like our, a very similar uh, Rockwood Rear Living We'll have like an island here. Now they're mid bunked. Uh, it's it's kind of uh, compressed a little more in the living area. Uh, Rockwood's also another brand that we carry here, Halo RV, by the way. But you can see the uh, removable countertop extension, and it is pretty aggressive. What I like about it is you can still pretty much get to all those drawers. Now down here we got space for wastebasket. That countertop extension kind of slides in. You see that angular piece of wood down in there? That's sort of the extension holder. Now materials. You know, one of the reasons Jayco offers longer warranties because they are using better materials like the bigger rugged stainless sink here. Uh, we've got that single cover plus the uh, aluminum drying rack there. Pull out sprayer faucet. Uh, in this class, the eight cubic foot fridge freezer we're looking at over here is uh, fairly common. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about that. But take a look at the extra little storage below the stove. They really have let nothing go to waste. Now, little detail stuff too. I love on the Eagles. Every seat that has like overhead lighting there's a switch for it. You don't uh, you don't have to go around clicking individual lights. Now stuff like that costs extra money, but it's also an enhancement feature. Now up here, you'll notice that our overhead doors are strutted so that we don't have to juggle them open with our heads. So again, everything on this is easier. Everything on this you could say is better. Now. Your Eagle series is not the least expensive series of fifth wheel out there. It's a value-based series, meaning it's not the least expensive. It's one of the best equipped. It's a, you know, it depends on which side of that coin you want to be on. If you're looking, you know, if, if you don't need all that upgrade, well, we've got other brands here. Hey, let's go maybe take care of you. Pardon my little umbrella I was using outside. Now, right here, this is where it really starts to differentiate itself, is this middle bunk bonus room, whatever you want to call it. Now, a couple things are going on. Uh, we've got this cool little uh, blue LED nightlight by the door. So if the kids need to get up to use the bathroom at night, they can see it. Now what we have here are a pair of stacked four foot wide by five foot long beds. Now the bottom bed, you notice has these uh, little wooden feet down here. The bottom bed can extend out an extra 12 inches to be six foot long, which is where that extra little spacer cushion comes into play. Uh, they, they make it like that so that when you're going down the road, uh, you you want to take you want to shrink it down like it is right now. This is in travel mode, if you will, or little kid mode. It maybe you don't need the big long beds, but if you do need a longer bed on the bottom for big kids, that's where this would go. They've touched this up. Well, first of all, that's also a very deep slide. Like some middle bunk bonus rooms have shallow slides. This is not one of them. And again, nothing gone to waste. Every ounce of space, nothing gone to waste. I mean, they've they've utilized every nook and cranny they possibly could in the most logical fashion they possibly could. Now right here, uh, you have uh, entertainment hookup. So 
Uh, what some people might do is they may uh, remove those middle cabinet styles and put an entertainment center right there. Some people might just mount a flat screen like uh, on the wall down here or on the wall over there with a swing on arm. You notice the little uh, coat hanger hooks. Just, again, extra little things they've done. And I, I don't know how better to say it's just, it, it sounds like it's, you know, the very internet phrasing, but Eagle's just very extra. E Eagle, Eagle's just extra as heck, man. Moving upstairs. All right. I like this this actual spot window right here, how it's all fully framed out and whatnot. That's just a nice little touch. It makes it kind of look like a like a framed up picture window. And once again, as soon as we're done with that middle bunk bonus room, we're right back to where we were with the 27.5 RLTS Eagle HT. So let me find the correct light switch. So again, another one of those handy little blue LED night lights. Not impressive during the day. Very impressive at night. What also is not impressive during the day is my face, which is why... I am avoiding putting myself in the mirror other than just my hand here. But I do want to take a moment to look at this backlit morning mirror. That is very cool. Because if you're like me and you wake up and you're just an angry zombie from The Walking Dead or whatever, well, you know, I, uh, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just not friendly in the morning. I don't want to talk to people. And that gives me the ability to flip on a light and see what I'm doing, get myself ready without blinding myself. Now, plenty of floor space in here. And we've got that split entry easy open shower and with a full walk and hike because oh i should have opened this sooner because usually in the cold these little rubber things don't cooperate so pardon the pink antifreeze i've had people say there's kool-aid someone spilled kool-aid in your camera out there no that's antifreeze guys notice that there's not a big step up into the shower how the shower floor is basically flush with the main deck floor they do that so that this is a full walk-in height shower that you're not going to have to bonk your head on or anything now the bedroom slide actually extends through here into the bathroom which is where this extra linen cabinet's coming from right there. That's that's what gives you the ability to keep some towels and stuff here in the bathroom so you don't have to do that naked streak. And this is a full sliding privacy wall right here. So if you want to close the bathroom off and still be able to access the front bedroom, like, you know, when my daughter's a teenager and she's using the bathroom, I'm not going to be allowed in there. You know, right now, she's seven. If I need to sneak in and sneak out and grab something real quick, she's behind the shower curtain. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a big deal. But pretty soon here, it, it's already starting to feel awkward where I'm like asking my wife, hey, can you go get me a, you know, Kleenex from the bathroom or a Q-tip or whatever? Well, as she gets older, that second entry door is what allows me to kind of come in and out uh, unfettered, if you will. So the remember, the remainder of the closet slides over here, but notice what they're including in their closet slide is that big cross breeze window, which creates a nice little shelf space over here, includes power outlets, has its own light, and little bonus dresser drawer below. Now, uh, the bed area is symmetrical. Each side of the bed has a nice little hanging closet. You've got those dual element LED lights where you, you tap it once and it's blue and you hold it and it's a nice bright white. Uh, you've got side stands on both sides of the bed that can uh, you know easily accommodate CPAPs or phone chargers or alarm clocks or whatever. USB and uh, 12 volt plugs on that side. And this is an 80 inch True Queen bed with storage below it and it's even a uh, Simmons mattress. So Jayco using better uh, mattresses in here. Now, um, this is 50 amp service. If you want to add a second AC, this is where it would go. You can see that this one is not equipped with it, but it is possible we have a different one or can get you one that has a second air in it if that's a real critical item for you. So once again, whatever you need, we only do everything at Halet RV, whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So We've gone through, we've given you uh, kind of a, a quick glossary overview here. If you folks have additional questions, give our team a call. We understand that, you know, this video may not have every ounce of information that you specifically are looking for. If you want to verify if we have something in stock, I recommend you give us a call. But again, you can visit our website to see what we have there because we do not do bait and switch sales at Halet RV. Uh, what we do is we put our pricing out there. We don't do dealer fees. We try to be simple. We try to be fun. We try to be fair. So if that sounds good... All we ask if you found this video useful is to give our team here at Halo RV an opportunity to earn your business. So with that, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, be sure to uh, share and subscribe. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.